Where the heck is Scott? He's supposed to be here like 30 minutes ago. It's a VR headset. We got time to kill. Might as well try it out. Whoa, I'm at the Kentucky Ballistics gun range. This is cool. Ah, nice. How do I walk? Let's try this. Watermelon tap, all right. Need this here. Oh, yeah. Ah. What is that? Ah. Bonus points. Wait, what's going on? It's a T-Rex, dude. I don't want any trouble, man. No, 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 man, no. No! No, no! no! What's up, everybody? My name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range, and today I have something you've been requesting for a long, long time. I already got it all set up. Let's go check it out and get started. So ever since I introduced the elephant guns on the channel, you all have been requesting that I shoot a torso. Well, I normally don't do that stuff on this channel, but I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna meet you in the middle. This is a zombie torso made by Ballistic Dummy Labs. It has lifelike organs and bones. The bones have been zombified. It's green blood, and we're gonna hit it with some really large elephant rifles today. Normally, we'd start with a smaller caliber and work our way up, but I wanna have a fresh, zombie torso for the 700 nitro so we're going to go in reverse order today start out with the 700 nitro express and then work our way down i don't know how much of it's going to be left after the 700 nitro but we're going to find out real quick i want to give you a close-up of this thing before we blast it it's pretty interesting it probably weighs like i don't know between 60 and 80 pounds when you flip it around here it's, ugh, got like spine and all that stuff it's time to get started. I'm not gonna lie, I am really, really excited. If you haven't met her before, this is my double barrel 700 Nitro Express elephant gun. Absolute monster, and it shoots this behemoth of a round. This is the 700 Nitro Express. That's a 70 caliber round, and it's a 1,000 grain soft point. Doesn't get much bigger than that. Also, doesn't get much more expensive than that. It's $100 a shot. So the slow-mo camera did not catch that shot, but we're gonna go check out the damage anyways, and then we'll take another shot at it. Ah! Ah! We had to hit center mass. Um, we've got some green and a piece of bone. Um, so that hit him pretty hard. Let's flip this thing over. Here we go. Yep. Oh dear. Looks like we broke the zombie's back. The zombie got jacked up, dude. Like. That is nuts. So what happened is exactly what I thought would happen. That is a very, very big round made for very big creatures. This is not a very big creature. So it zipped right through him, but man, did it do a lot of damage. I would have to say that uh, if it was the zombie apocalypse and you had a 700 nitro, I don't think you would have very many issues disposing of zombies. So we kind of had some technical difficulties and the slow-mo camera totally spazzed out and we didn't catch that shot. So we're gonna shoot it with the 700 Nitro Express one more time. Round two. Here we go again. All right, we're gonna go about right there. Oh, wait. a little more eventful than last time. I just looked at that slow-mo footage and I'm just gonna go ahead and say, if two shots of 700 Nitro doesn't end a zombie, you got bigger problems. I just start running. So let's check this out. Um, 
Oh dear, there is bone and stuff all over the place. I have a solution for this. You just, that's all you gotta do. So let's flip this guy over. Yep. And oh dear, okay, well, that is a very large hole now. I don't know how he's still standing, missing like a whole quarter of his spine. So Mr. Zombie here has been hit with two rounds of 700 Nitro Express. Now we're gonna move on to another caliber. So up next is a gun you have not seen on the channel yet and I'm really, really excited to show it to you. We have the 700 Nitro and we have 500 Nitro. Now we have a double barrel 600 Nitro Express. Very, very cool gun and it shoots this behemoth of a round the 600 Nitro Express, that is a 900 grain soft point. Let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see a video just on the 600 Nitro. Okay, then I'm gonna go for the belly this time. Let's see here. I know this thing kicks like a mule. about as much recoil as the 700. So we had a good hit right here. Oh dear, that's, that's bad. We are up. <laughs> I think the 600 Nitro Express would also be a very suitable round for a zombie apocalypse. Let's move on to the next caliber. 700 Nitro, 600 Nitro, and now we're gonna hit it with the 500 Nitro Express. Take a look at this rifle. You got a water buffalo, an elephant, you got a lion on this side, and I'm not really sure what this is on the lever. Maybe you can let me know in the comment section. This thing is really, really pretty. It's a little light though, so it's gonna have quite a bit of kick. Shooting this right here, the 500 Nitro Express, this is a 570 grain Swift A-frame. I'm gonna hit him, uh, I don't know, about right there. Golly! That 500 Nitro don't play around. So the 700 Nitro and the 600 Nitro and the 500 Nitro, all of it together, I've probably already shot about $300 in ammo, and these things are not cheap. So if you wanna support the channel, the easiest way to do that is by checking out my clothing. There's a link in the description down below. Okay, we hit right here, and um, goodness gracious, flip him over. And oh, um. I don't know what this is, but it fell out. 500 Nitro Express, very effective at taking out a zombie. Let's see if we can get him to stand up. Oh, hey, easy there, buddy. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna turn him sideways. Hey, there we go. All right, this time I'm gonna shoot him right here, and I think I'm gonna go point blank. I, did, I was gonna go point blank to begin with, but I'm not gonna lie, it's a little skittish because I don't know how bad this stuff stains and I don't really want it on my 700 Nitro or my six, I don't want it on any of my guns. So for this next shot, I have another Nitro cartridge. This is my double barrel 470 Nitro Express and I'm using a 500 grain 470 Nitro Express soft point. This should be interesting. All right, here we go. Oh, wow! Ah, uh, video's over, folks. <laughs> what I really like about the 500 Nitro and the 470 is the ejectors. Not a whole lot left of uh, Mr. Zombie here. That was 
pretty eventful. A lot of energy. Uh, okay, I think he's gonna fall apart. Yep, he might. Oh, all right. We are all blowed out. Um, yeah, I, I think that'll do it. If 470 did that point blank, 700 nitro probably would have ended the show right off the bat. There's not much of him left, but I still want to hit him with one or two more. It's going to be okay. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. When I say technology, I mean duct tape. Oh yeah. Yep, there we go, okay. Just about got it. Yeah, look here. Yeah, come on. Hey! <laughs> what the heck? Look at that. Look at that. A few moments later. He kind of fell over and fell apart more. So I'm just gonna shoot it like this. Hit him one more time here and one more time there. Up next, I have another rifle that you have not seen on the channel yet. This is a Weatherby bolt action chambered in 460 Weatherby Magnum. Another monster of a cartridge and these are not easy to find. So a shout out to Big Daddy Unlimited for helping me get my hands on this thing. And it fires the massive 460 Weatherby Magnum. That's a 500 grain Barnes TSX. All right, let's see, uh, see what the old 460 does. Woo, that was a lot. <laughs> that kicked a little bit, not as bad as the bigger ones but it's still got quite a bit of kick. Well, I would say we have successfully disposed of the zombie torso. Not a whole lot left of this thing, but I still got one more gun to use. And the last gun I have to use today is a Blazer R8 chambered in 500 Jeffrey. This rifle's pretty unique because it's a straight pull bolt action. Instead of you rotating your bolt, you literally just pull straight back. There's no rotating lugs. It's a bunch of little bitty lugs. And then when it goes forward, they expand inside there, holding your bolt in place. And this fires the 500 Jeffrey, a short little fat round. It's a 540 grain brass solid. The whole trigger housing comes out so that you can load your mag. Very, very weird bolt action. I'm gonna go about right there. <laughs> so this thing is completely destroyed. I probably needed about two or three to really do this test. I knew it was gonna tear it up, but I didn't know it was gonna be this bad. What do you think about this test? And would you like to see more of this on the channel? If you would, let me know in the comment section down below. And now all that's left is figuring out what I'm gonna do with what's left of this zombie torso. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you wanna pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.